Hello fellow DIYers and focus owners. Today, well today is a rainy day. I'm once again at my friend's garage and we're doing brakes. So I'm going to present you three methods of doing brakes or bleeding brakes. One is the ghetto rig two person method. The other one is the ghetto rig single person method. And the third one is using a tool for the job. Last time I had to change my two rear brake calipers because as you can see these are pretty shit and I need to bleed my brakes so I thought I'm going to make a video unfortunately that time I was pressed by time and I couldn't do a video so here we are today you probably saw it on Instagram because I posted the uh, to rear new brake calipers. Wait, you're not following me on Instagram. You can find the link down in the description about the tools that you will need. You can find the list down in the description as well. And don't forget to buy some brake fluid. Also, it is recommended to change the brake fluid about every two to three years. Another detail, you should start bleeding the brakes at the longest line first. So. What am I referring to? There is a car. We have front right, rear right, wheel, rear left, and front left. Because it's a left hand drive car you probably have the steering wheel here and the pedals over there and you will have the brake booster over there so the longest route or the longest line is going to be the one for the rear right wheel after that probably the rear left front right and front left Okay, enough theory, let's get down to business. First step, make sure the brake fluid reservoir is full. It usually has a level somewhere on the side, or you can look into it. If it isn't, then fill it up. In my case, I need to use DOT4. Check your car's user manual to see what brake fluid you need or if you can't find there google it or check the heinous manual now we're at the right rear wheel i already removed the wheel obviously what what you're saying nice rotors well thank you they are bramble anyhow so you will need to remove the bleed nipple cap i usually place the bleed nipple cap somewhere close so I don't forget it okay so half an hour later I managed to finally put the tube onto the bleed nipple uh, it is recommended to buy the bleeding tool because you're going to make your life a lot easier but if you want to get a rig it I will show you how to build this get a rig tool at the end of the video so let's crack the bleed nipple and that should be enough and now somebody needs to go to press the brake pedal this is the two man version As somebody is pressing the brake pedal, you are supposed to tighten the bleed nipple after you don't see any air bubbles coming out. And make sure to top up the brake fluid reservoir as you bleed the brakes. And don't let it go empty because then you need to do the whole thing 
from the start. Here I have the bottle with the tube in it connected to the brakes and you need a little bit of brake fluid in the bottle. So let's move on to the next ghetto rig solution. So here I have connected this sprayer to the whole system and I'm going to use it as a vacuum pump. And as you can see it kind of does the job but it does it very very slowly you need to spray a lot because it doesn't make a lot of vacuum you can see the bubbles coming out can you see the bubbles coming out now so that's the air from the system barely makes the vacuum required. So here we are with the pump. So after you've done pumping or your uh, friend steps on the brake pedal and you don't see too much air coming out, you should tighten the bleed nipple, remove the hole, uh, in the pump's case you are supposed to empty the container. Also another important thing is not to forget to place the bleed nipple cap back. Also another tip, they recommend to pump it a few times like 10 to 15 times before opening the bleed nipple so you have a vacuum inside the container so now I'm going to empty this container and go to the next wheel now let me show you the way you can make the first ghetto rigged bleeding tool basically just a half liter bottle with two holes in the cap 5 millimeter drill bit for the bigger hole a I think this is a 3 millimeter it doesn't really matter drill bit for the smaller hole this is aquarium tubing you need to feed it through screw the lid on the bottle oh yeah you need to fill the bottle with uh, brake fluid and uh, this is pretty much it. In conclusion, for beginners I highly recommend the first method with two people and uh, the bottle basically. Because in my opinion you can see the bubbles coming out a lot better than with the vacuum pump or the spray bottle. Uh, ghetto rigged vacuum pump. As for the hand pump, in case you want to buy it, this one is a Yato YT0674, but you can find this for about, I guess, $50. This was like 220 lei. It isn't as easy to use for beginners as the two-person blading method but it can be used for a lot more things than just blading brakes. Basically everywhere where you need to pull a vacuum or make pressure, I don't know, like PCV, EGR systems, turbo, uh, what the hell was that, wastegate, I don't know, a lot of things. So basically, this is good for beginners, this sucks, literally and figuratively, and uh, you can do a lot of things with this, including bleeding the brakes, I would recommend for somebody who done a lot of uh, brake bleeding and needs to do it alone.
Thank you very much for watching. If you think that this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.